Um, you just moved in, right? Um, I'm Caleb. I, uh, I live across the street. Um, yeah. What's your name? Nice name. So, I wonder, um, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want that too. I think most people want that, you know, to be happy. And I want to be an actor, you know, like a really good actor. And act in um, blockbuster films and earn a lot of money so I can uh, get out of this small town. <laughs> well, I think it's um, probably my 12th birthday. Um, my dad came home and uh, he bought me a DIY plane model. I was really happy and you know he likes Aviator on you know, that movie and I mean I like the model but I think he likes the model more than he liked me. I mean that day we like talked a lot and we watched movies together. I was really happy because I've not seen my parents, especially my dad, that happy for a long time. And I don't know, I just felt really happy. And you know, my parents, they used to fight a lot. And my dad, he left for his crazy aviator dream or something. And he gave me that model before he left. So, um, why don't you talk? I I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, like, disrespect or anything. I I'm sorry, I didn't mean it that way. I I'm sorry, I... You, I'm sorry. Look, I, uh... Someone's calling me. I, I, I gotta go. I I'll talk to you later, okay? I I'm sorry, I, di I didn't mean it. Sorry, I, I gotta go. I mean, the cake was so good. Was it really? Yeah, it was chocolate and strawberry. That was a great conversation. I'm very sorry about what I said yesterday. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to. <laughs> Caleb, you asked me why I don't speak, and the answer is that I'm afraid to lose things, words, people. It wasn't always like that. I used to talk a lot. I was supposed to have a baby sister. We were supposed to be a happy family, but it didn't turn out that way. I remember it so vividly. I was home with my mom. I found her on the kitchen floor and there was so much blood around her. I know I should have called 911, but the only thing I could do was scream. My dad found us and the ambulance came. After that, everything was just a blur. Blurring alarms, flashing lights.
I not only lost my mom that day, but also my baby sister and my dad. He never was the same, and neither was I. I'm afraid that if I talk again, something bad will happen. I promise you, next time you speak, I'll be there and nothing bad will happen, okay? Okay, look at me, I promise you, nothing bad will happen. And it's only good things, you know, I'll, I'll be there. So, um, what makes you happy? But you already have me. Look around, what do you see? Are you the one you want to be? Happiest road to success. Take a drive down the streets of happiness. Never underestimate yourself. You're special like no one else. Use your strength. Don't let them ruin you again 